Well, hello. Welcome to Snowflake Pro. My name's Randy Ingermanson, and I'm known around the world as the Snowflake Guy because I invented the famous Snowflake method that people all around the world like to use to design their novels. I believe that uh, great fiction doesn't just happen. It's designed. If you've never heard of the Snowflake writing method, you're in for a treat. The Snowflake method is one of the simplest ways I have come across to develop a novel. Best of all, it is free. Randy has an article on his website explaining how it all works. No, this does not mean it won't be hard. Randy himself has said this method will make you work. To explain how the Snowflake method works, I'll let Randy tell you about it. If you look at the little uh, picture there on the right, you'll see this very fancy looking uh, snowflake object. It's it's very curvy. Can you imagine trying to draw that all in one shot? But you'll see down at the very bottom of the screen there's a little control that lets you set the number of levels of detail when you only have one level of detail thing. It's just a triangle. And as you go to two levels of detail you add more triangles to it and as you go to higher and higher levels of detail more and more little triangles keep getting added on to the edges until finally at the end you've got this immensely curvy, very symmetrical, very beautiful looking object known as the snowflake fractal. Taking the snowflake writing method and putting it into a software was a great idea. Now let's dive into the software itself. First thing you need to know is this software is only developing your novel. You cannot write the actual novel with it. With that said, there are only two features with this software. That's right, you heard me, only two. You have the nine steps to develop your novel and the proposal. We'll eventually get to that. Now let's go over all the steps. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but enough to help with examples from Harry Potter. Step one, sentence. Break down your novel into one sentence. This is known as the elevator pitch. The shorter the better. Randy recommends 15 words or less. If you want more, check out my video in the cards and a link below for more on this one sentence. Example from Harry Potter. An 11 year old boy wizard tries to stop an evil sorcerer from returning to life. Step two, paragraph. Now it's time to expand that one sentence into a paragraph. The recommendation by Randy is five sentences. Example from Harry Potter. On his 11th birthday, orphan Harry Potter is invited to leave his miserable life with his aunt and uncle to attend a school for witches and wizards. Harry learns that an evil wizard, Lord Voldemort, tried to kill him as a baby and lost his own powers instead. When Harry nearly dies in a jinx game of Quidditch, he suspects that sinister Professor Snape is responsible. Harry has to do a detention in the Forbidden Forest. He witnesses a shadowy figure drinking unicorn's blood, a magical life preserver. Harry sets out to stop Snape from returning Voldemort to power, only to face Voldemort himself. Step 3 Characters. Time to list your characters, all the ones that will matter. Answer the questions for each character. Example. You can see the list of characters from Harry Potter on screen. Step four, page. Back to the story. Now it's time to take those five sentences, or however many you have, from your paragraph and make them each into its own paragraph. Example, see example on the screen. If you need more time, pause the video. Step five, character synopsis. Now it's time to flesh out your characters. This is the story from each character's perspective. Example, evil Lord Voldemort, the most powerful wizard alive until he tried to kill a baby named Harry and instantly lost everything, his power, his followers, even his own body. After 11 years waiting, after 11 years of waiting, Voldemort is ready to return to power. All he needs is a sorcerer's stone. All he needs is the Sorcerer's Stone, which produces an elixir of life, which will render him immortal. Unfortunately, the stone is under the protection of Albus Dumbledore, the only wizard Voldemort ever feared. You get the point. You can see the full example on screen. Pause again if you want to read the whole thing. Step 6. Synopsis. 
Time to complete the full story. Take each of the five paragraphs, or how many you have, and turn each of them into a page. See on screen for an example. Step seven, charts. It's back to character. Let's do character profiles for each of the characters. Again, look to the screen for an example. Step eight, scenes. Now let's break up that synopsis into scenes. Once you have all your scenes, each scene will have a number and you can give a one sentence of what actually happens in the scene. You can also place the scene in the chapter it will be in, as well sign a POV character for the scene. See the screen for an example. Step nine, scene details. Now you can flesh out all the information for each scene by adding notes. This is optional, but I recommend it for the next feature. Proposal. Once you've completed all the steps, Snowflake Pro compiles the book proposal for you. There's still some work you need to do, such as marketing analysis, author bio, and promotion. Once you finish, you are done. Snowflake Pro is good, but the biggest issue is loading. I found that by clicking on profiles in Harry Potter, it takes a few seconds to load between profiles. It's small, but can be annoying if you're trying to get work done in a small window of time. Worse, sometimes it does this and other times it doesn't. Sometimes it will do in the beginning, other times it won't do it until the program's been used for a while. It's a little inconsistent, but since this is the only really issue, it's not that big of an issue. While Snowflake Pro is very simple to use, this is 2020, I've made it very clear that you better have tutorials in other reviews. While there are none, sort of. Randy does have lecture notes that cover each step, plus his free article on his website. In addition, he has an audio track that you can play which goes over each step in detail. Normally, I would condemn a company for the lack of video tutorials. I do think it's a shame that Randy doesn't have any. He does provide full examples of actual books that you can load and see how it works, such as the Harry Potter one I use for this video. Normally, this would not be enough for me if it wasn't for the current state of Snowflake Pro, which leads me to price. When Randy first launched Snowflake Pro, which I believe was about a decade ago or close to it, I was one of the beta testers. It was cool to test it out and get a free copy of the software. I was really excited since the price he charged on launch was $100. I know what you're thinking, insert rant on price here. Sorry folks, no rant today. While the price is way too high, I do understand why that is. It's not a company that's putting the software out, it's Randy himself. He programmed it on his own, that means only he was dealing with the issues of customers and adding new features. So I can understand it, it's still overpriced. Thankfully, that's no longer the case, it is now. 100% free. Randy has discontinued support due to things going on in his life. He did update it to work on the current version of Mac OS Catalina at the time he posted it, which was December 2019. I have a link down to it below. Note, Randy did work with Plotter to have, I believe, a template of the Snowflake method to work on their software. Snowflake Pro may be at the end of its life, yet for someone who loves Snowflake Method, even though I don't use it completely, putting out a review and making it known to everyone that it is free and still works on OS X as of December 2020 is a great way to give the Snowflake Method a try. Loading issues is annoying, but it's understandable for software at the end of its life. Snowflake Pro is not for everyone. It is a great tool for new writers to learn how to craft a book proposal and communicate a complex book quickly. I'm giving Snowflake Pro a six. It's fine. Thank you for watching this review of Snowflake Pro. Let me know down in the comment section what you thought of my review and if you'll give Snowflake Pro a try. Please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and turn on all notifications so you know when other software reviews and other content go live. Thanks again for watching.